Okay, next I'll talk about managing your body. Okay, so yeah, I, I used to be friends with a dancer and she kind of would like stand up and like move her arms and kind of be like, look at me, this, and she'd say, this is my instrument, you know, meaning like her body was her instrument that she conveyed messages that she used. She was highly trained, right, as a as a dancer, right? And there, it's really interesting because public speaking, in a lot of ways, our body is our instrument as well. And, you know, so much in life, our body is, in, in a lot of ways, our instrument. And so the tips that your book gives you here are to maintain good posture. Yeah, so standing up straight uh, with your shoulders back it will also allow you to project more because your lungs are opened and your diaphragm, again, is opened up. And so you can really project open and out to your audience by maintaining good posture. You also want to move with purpose and spontaneity. So that's interesting. So one thing I'll ask you to do, especially for our second speech, would be to try to move with your main points. So, you know, you kind of like do your introduction, your attention getter, and your introduction and all that. And then when you go to your first point, you would move to say like the right. And then when you go to, when you transition to your second point, you would walk a few steps and transition into your second point. And then when you would go to your third point, you transition. So you're moving, you're moving with your transitions. You're not, it's not merely moving, right? And you also don't want to dance, right? A lot of young speakers will just kind of like dance, walk back and forth, or do some kind of like nervous action over and over again. And you want to try to avoid, avoid that. But you're moving with a purpose. At the same time, it could be, it should be natural and spontaneous at some level, right? So you like gesture for emphasis. You would, you know, uh, it, it should be, it should be natural at some level, not overly prepared and not overly canned is what I would say. Prepared, but not overly canned, right? Like you're, like you're moving like a robot, right? It should, it should be natural. You also want to avoid physical barriers. So this is things like podiums actually, right? Podiums are hiding behind desks, right? The new public speaking is all about just you, you connecting with people, right? You don't want to stand behind podiums these days. You want to just come right out. Uh, even sometimes, right, a speaker will say, I don't, need, I don't want the mic, right? I want to get closer to my audience and so they can all hear me, right? And so avoiding those physical barriers is, is a good suggestion nowadays, right? You know, there are places where you would speak from a podium, right? And a huge audience or a political speech, right? You would use that podium, but the type of public speaking that we're doing, you want to avoid physical barriers like podiums, desks, hiding behind objects, which is it's just common, right? When we get nervous, we kind of want to like hide our bodies, right? And also you want to maintain the posture because you're standing. That's another thing, right? We're going to be standing for all our speeches. Nobody sitting at a coffee table, reading a manuscript at their computer, right? We're standing for all our speeches and you want to move in terms of your you know walking a little bit with your transitions main points and also gesturing gesturing naturally we'll talk more about that uh also where am i Woo!